Hello students, in today's lecture, we are going to solve example on rectification of parametric curve. Rectification is the process of finding arc length of the given curve. For that, we will consider the example, find arc length of the curve x raised to 2 by 3 plus y raised to 2 by 3 is equal to a raised to 2 by 3, which is the well-known curve known as asteroid. In this solution, we are going to consider the following steps. First one is tracing of rough sketch of the curve. Second step, finding limits using the symmetry of the curve. And finally, to obtain the arc length of the given curve. Consider step one in that we are going to trace the rough sketch of the curve of the given curve. Uh, x raised to 2 by 3 plus y raised to 2 by 3 is equal to a raised to 2 by 3 whose parametric equations are x equal to a cos cube t y equal to a sin cube t. In symmetry for this curve we will be getting both the symmetries about that is about x axis and about y axis. Next derivative obtain derivative dy by dx which is minus tan t. Next characteristic is table. In table, we have obtained the values for the variables t, x, y, dy by dx. Depending upon symmetry about x axis, we have considered different values for t as 0, pi by 2 and pi and corresponding to which we have obtained values for x, y and dy by dx. Whenever dy by dx is 0, tangent is parallel to x axis and whenever dy by dx is infinity or minus infinity, tangent is parallel to y axis. Using these characteristics, the rough sketch of the curve is this, which is known as asteroid, which is having four branches. So let us consider arc length of the branch in the first quadrant as S1, arc length S2 for branch in the second quadrant, likewise S3 and S4. In the second step, we are going to obtain the limits for the variable t for which we are going to consider the symmetry. As we got symmetry about both the coordinate axis, x axis and y axis, this implies that arc length of each of the branches same and therefore arc length of asteroid is equal to 4 times arc length of branch of the asteroid in first quadrant that is s is equal to 4 times s1. Therefore, for branch in the first quadrant, now consider this figure again. So, this is the branch in the first quadrant whose arc length is s1. Clearly, here t varies from 0 to pi by 2. So, the limits for the t are 0 to pi by 2. In the third step, we are going to obtain arc length of the branch of the asteroid in the first quadrant that is arc length s1 which is given by the formula integration from t equal to 0 to pi by 2 square root of dx by dt square plus dy by dt square and we are going to integrate it with respect to t. Here we are going to obtain dx by dt and dy by dt. So dx by dt is differentiate x which is a cos cube t with respect to t which gives us the expression minus 3a cos square t sin t and dy by dt so differentiate y which is a sin cube t with respect to t which gives us the expression 3a sin square t cos t now obtain the term in the integration which is dx by dt square plus dy by dt square which is equal to so we have replaced dx by dt and dy by dt which we obtained in the last slide simplifying it we will be getting it as 9a square sin square t into cos square t. Consider arc length formula again that is s1 equal to this one. Now in this replace the value of dx by dt square plus dy by dt square which we have obtained in the last slide which is equal to. We will be getting it as integration from t equal to 0 to pi by 2 square root of 9a square sin square t cos square t dt get the square root which will give us 3a sin t cos t. As 3a constant, we will take it outside and therefore s1 is now becoming s1 equal to 3a integration from t equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin t into cos t dt. We are going to simplify it further. 
for simplification we have multiplied and divided by 2 and that 2 sin t cos t we have replaced it by sin 2t now this is the simple integration whose integration is minus cos 2t upon 2 limits from 0 to pi by 2 when we replace the values we will be getting it as 3a by 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 so simplified s1 will be 3a by 2 this is arc length of the branch of the asteroid in the first quadrant hence arc length of asteroid is s is equal to 4 times arc length of its branch in the first quadrant that is s1 which is equal to 4 into 3a by 2 after simplifying it we will be getting it as total arc length of asteroid is equal to 6a which is the required answer i hope you have understood this thank you